Hello everyone, uh, we are headed to our target test. I'm gonna have to make sure to cancel a uh, lane change. We don't want it taking the highway. A little bit close to the right side of the road there. Uh, I did want to mention the intersection at the top right up here. It actually, this is the best it's ever done it in 10.1. Sorry, um, sorry, 10.2 this is. Best it's ever done it. It actually finally creeped forward looked like a human and then went and, and then it just like fly out of the turn it just, it just went out of the turn like a human would so again we are taking a left up here like that truck did and we'll see how it does to make sure i'm recording so after looking at everyone's uh first opinions it is um definitely two steps forward one step back with this update Okay, it should not go. It should not go. Okay. That's personal preference. I would not have gone there. The car wanted to go. And if it was going to go, it would have had to jam like fly out. It's good to go now. Um, so we're going to call that a disengagement. Like, it would have had to gone at least like that, and it still would have been too close for me. So it seems to, this update so far seems to uh, shred the needle too close uh, for uh, human comfort. For the car's comfort, for a statistical, like, you're plenty safe distance apart, and as long as the car goes quick enough, then it's fine. But in terms of what makes the human comfortable, it is uh, not better. Um, it, it doesn't mean it's unsafe per se, but in terms of what makes the human comfortable, this also is personal preference. I don't drive that aggressively normally, which is ironic because uh, now we have the safety scores. And so that my first drive uh, I just uploaded uh, got a score of 98. I had full self-driving on the entire time. Somehow I got a score of 98. The only ding I had was hard braking, which I didn't brake hard at all. When I'm worried, I'm actually going to take a left here. We're not taking the highway, so I want to go straight here. I'm probably gonna, it's probably gonna reroute multiple times too, is the problem. Um, so, uh, what I'm afraid in this area is that uh, we have a lot of hills, we're in the mountains, and I regularly get full region on these hills. And so, it, it's, um, I'm afraid they're going to have hard braking issues uh, going down the hill. I'm like, that's just not fair around here. I regularly just lit off the pedal and go full region so because I don't want to hit the brake. And of course, it's going to slow down pretty rapidly. And that's probably going to count as a hard brake, even though it's really you're just slowing down going down a hill. There, there is not a hard brake at all, actually. So yeah, that's, that's the thing. Here... Uh, it's still trying to take a right. This is why we need waypoints. I don't want to go this route. I will go to highway once we have full stack, and it's worth testing the highway. But until then, it's not worth it. See, that's it's odd. So that Jeep right there, that Jeep pulled out in front of me like full self-driving wanted to do before. I don't know why humans do that. That's how the car is getting trained to do that. That car, Jeep should not have gone out. And it sucks I'm having to <laughs> drive manually here because it keeps on rerouting. I'm gonna go put it in the FSD here and you're actually, the speed limit is actually 35 during this time of the day because school's in session. Like I said, normally don't you know, drive on a weekday. I just happen to be off today from work. So now we go up to 45 mile an hour. But also we have a light up ahead, so it should stop. It should already see this light. I can see the light, and it's still accelerating. And now it's like kind of hard braking. But also I need to disable it because it's going the wrong way. It wants to keep on taking the highway, and I don't want to take the highway because there's actually quite a bit of traffic on the highway right now. So I don't want to do that. Well, it bad phantom brake right there. 
That's why you always have to have your foot above the pedal. It sucks because you just want to kind of relax on these two lane roads. But all of a sudden, it just, it actually jammed on the brake there. That, that wasn't a light brake. Like right here again. I wonder if that keeps on happening, I might decide to. Okay, we might recalibrate the cameras. That's bad. Uh, that's not good at all. It keeps on hard braking for cars that are passing. And the only reason I can guess that happens is because it the, it's going between the two cameras, between the B pillar and the, the front camera up here, and it's causing it to freak out and all of a sudden decides it needs to jam on the brakes. And it braked again for that car and it's not even past the camera, so that must not be the issue. This is a for sure regression on 10.2, even over 10.1. Um, version 9 had this bad. Honestly, not quite this bad. I think version 9 was even better still than this. This is like almost every other car. It seems to be braking for no reason. Okay, we'll see how it gets in the turn lane here. I'm gonna force it in the correct turn lane. I'm just training the car. Again, this is our job as beta testers. I'll slow down, slow down, slow down. Should have slowed down there. Um, coming in too hot to that turn. Uh, this is the first version to do that too. Let's see if we're going to jinx it by saying this. But it has not tried to get in the left lane yet and that's a common issue right now I'm going the speed limit oh I canceled so it lets me cancel it so that's good there's not a car behind me and there's not a car in front of me that's stopping and there's also a police car why is it pink okay breast cancer awareness uh, most likely um, but yeah he's done trying to get over there's no car in front of me um, and it should not be trying to get over that was good for this light. This actually happened last time, I think. Uh, this light turned at about that same spot. That was good. It reacted to the light um, better than 10.1 did. Again, I think about the same as 10.0. Uh, I'm comparing this more to 10.0 uh, in terms of improvements. There are improvements, for sure, over 10.0. So they're like, this is the best it's ever been in certain areas. But in terms of 10.1... Uh, or 10.0, it still seems to be, 10.0 uh, was more polished than 10.1 was and even 10.2. But it, that gives us good hope for 10.3 that there is even more polish. Stop trying to get over, car. At least it lets me cancel the lane change by pressing the stop now. That's an important safety thing, and I'm glad that maybe they consider that to be a bug too, I don't know. But... It, it shouldn't let me not cancel the lane change. So look at there. I don't know if that was the it breaking for the truck. I wish that truck wasn't in front of us. So that's a perfect example of what one of the first autopilot accidents were. It, that a truck cut across a road just like this and that would cause uh, the autopilot just didn't see it and of course the guy wasn't paying attention and it ran into the truck so but clearly my car braked whether or not it's because of the truck in front of me or whether it's not because it saw the semi truck cutting across the road I'm not sure but it definitely braked either way So this is good as not trying to change lanes constantly. It does actually need to get in the left lane coming up right there. The problem is it kept on getting over in the left lane too early. And so it, it's, it's actually fine if it went in the left lane, but it needs to really stay in the right lane until it's right, right about right here. Then it can get over in the left lane. Okay, so that car beside me wanted over. Um, I really should have just disengaged and let, let that person in. But um, 
it obviously my car doesn't see turn signals yet so it wasn't going to let that car in it, it really should be more courteous and let cars in uh, in these type of conditions even if they're um not being a great driver and they're just trying to cut in front of you it should still let them in if the person has their turn signal on and they're trying to get over it should let them in Okay, this is great. They finally added this back. They finally added that back. It, it does need to change lanes to the left lane up ahead. So maybe we can get in front of this truck. This is going to be a weird sketchy area. I'm glad it's not turning on the blinker because it can't get over right now. It's just not a good spot to get over. However, this truck is going to cause us some issues. It's probably trying to get on the highway, most likely. That's why it's in the left lane. And so we need to get in front of the, this truck here and get over in the left lane up ahead. So right here would be a good spot to get over. I'm gonna have to go ahead and tell it to get over. While it probably would have been best to actually stay in the right lane, because everyone obviously traffic's going past in this case, I like to get in the lane before, ahead of time so it doesn't have to make a rash, quick lane change up ahead. Okay, um, I would have do that. It really shouldn't have done that. Um, it was appropriate for based on the way traffic was moving. Though now I need to get back over again. Um, I'm gonna have to watch this very carefully um, because this is one of those weird crossover intersections here oh everyone see everyone's trying to get on the highway it doesn't see this lane no 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 okay that was a disengagement i don't know why it decided to start going right uh, it's the right only turn lane and it even knows it's the right only turn lane but it still decided to go right What it needs to do is get in the left lane, but not, I don't know why I was breaking there. Pressing the accelerator to push it through. The car on my left. Once that car passes, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the, well now the truck behind me is getting over too. This is improved over 10.1, absolutely. Now is it better than 10.0? Up for the bait. Um, I didn't. I've only driven this once on 10.0, so it's not like I had a bunch of experience. Um, but definitely better than 10.1. That's that's very clear. So that's that's good. Maybe they um, got they saw the like multiple disengagements and multiple lane cancels and everything else. I'm like, well, let's, let's review this a little bit closer. And so hopefully they did, and so they corrected that problem. But now, again, we're getting into the dilemma because it couldn't get over in that lane even though it was wide open. It needs to get over in the left lane before... Um, see the chili sign up there. It really should get over right, right there. Oh, good. Wait, it's going to do it. Okay, awesome. That was a great lane change. Great lane change. And now it's no longer getting in this turn lane, which is great. In every other version would get in that turn lane right there. At least attempt to. So we are doing great here so far. Fortunately we had the one disengagement. If it saw there um saw how to get in, it, it couldn't really tell the lines even though it was it was showing on the screen. Great, this is good. Um everyone says you're not supposed to cross the double yellow right here. Um which in this case, it probably would have been fine not to. I think this is how humans drive. This is exactly how humans drive. And I'm gonna press it through this intersection here. And it should, um, oh, oh, okay. A little bit of hesitancy there. Hopefully it stays in the right lane here. Um, last, last time it got in the left lane, I'm gonna cancel this if it does, or tries to. No, don't, stop thinking about it. There you go. It's even a little bit more confident seeing lane lines now. So normally I would get off right here and I... 
this is actually not a four-way stop. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and record that. Okay, let's see how it does. Okay, so that's that's definitely improved. I'm happy. I'm happy. We're gonna let it go in this type of turn for uh, going forward. But um, I am happy with that, everyone. This is, um, while it may not look like it, it was definitely an improvement over 10.1. And some things better, the best they've ever been. Uh, this last uh, few minutes, I, I would say the best it's ever been while it didn't mess up. Uh, it's hard to explain how, one, it doesn't do random lane changes. Two, it didn't get in the incorrect turn lane. Three, it crossed the double yellow like a human would to get into the turn lane. All improvements in my eyes. Now, I would like you to comment down below if you really think those are improvements or if that car should do that. Please let me know. But I'm pretty happy with this. Much better, uh, I think, than my first drive. Uh, and this had more traffic, too. So we got to keep, keep that in mind than my last target drive. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that, everyone. We're going to go to the outlets. I'm going to ride along with Travis today in Asheville. And we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching. Bye.